ever since World War I, a hundred years ago, the range that artillery can fire has been more or less at a standstill in Western militaries. 22 to 23 kilometers was the effective limit then. Today, it is just marginally longer. Countries like Russia, however, have built much more capable artillery systems. Some can attack from as far out as 100 kilometers or more. When we look to, for instance, Russia and others, there is already in service rocket artillery with the capability of firing 70 kilometers. And the vast number of also traditional MLRS systems with guidance have the capability to shoot more than 100. I would say that as some of the NATO armies already are stating, we are outgunned and outranged. One defense company, NAMO, is, however, working to close this range gap, and then some, by using a ramjet motor, a concept until now only found in the aerospace sector. NAMO hopes to break all previous distance records for artillery. What you see here is the model of NAMO 155 ramjet projectile in development. It has the same length as a standard shell, but that is maybe the only similarity. At very high speeds, atmospheric air goes into an air intake, is compressed, and as temperature rises, it is ignited together with the rocket fuel. At the front, there is an air intake. A traditional rocket motor uses oxidizer within the energetics. Here, the air is, goes in the air intake, is compressed, the temperature increases, it's mixed with the propellant, and the back end of the shell is the ramjet rocket motor. Ramjets work best at very high speeds around Mach 3 or more. Previous attempts to uh, utilize them have typically been reserved for experimental rockets or extremely high-speed aircraft. <laughs> but there is one more instance where ramjets can operate. Some artillery projectiles do have enough speed. At their test center in Norway, NAMO started exploring the concept in 2015. Since then, more than 150 successful motor tests have been completed. The rocket motor you see here goes right into a standard 155mm shell body. It can be fired from any L-52 gun, but the range is longer than any other tube artillery shell in existence. But since we use air from the outside through an air intake, it will burn much longer than a standard rocket motor and will increase the range to up to nearly 150 kilometers. Two, three, four, five, there's five. Most standard artillery still only has a 20 kilometer reach. Ramjet artillery is set to change that fundamentally, with guidance and a range of up to 150 kilometers. So you can either move your guns forward, shoot deep into behind enemy lines, or keep your guns at safe distance outside the range of counter battery fire. Ramjet uh, will um, uh, create a massive uh, opportunity for us to engage target at really long range. 
and that's uh, a necessity. It's one of the most important programs that we have ever been taking on. It's a challenge, number one, to combine all our ammunition technology together with our rocket motor technology to provide long-range artillery with um, ranges that uh, the world has never seen before.